Yeah, here comes the time. The whole wide world will welcome the rising sun. Here comes the time for everyone to see that what will be will be. This is the time for you and I to stand together as one. Yeah, there will know, there will know. The sun is rising from east to west. From north to south Can't you see the sun is rising? Oh, you wave your flag And be proud of who you are Because the sun is rising We're shining so bright All over the world We are the sun, we are rising We spent our lives simply in a misery Never gonna trade our freedom with any mystery it's affecting our soul and it's killing us no slow With what we've been through, we are far from being good But we are blessed by Chuko Dika Biauma So we're never gonna give up We're never gonna give up There'll be light in the rain of a tunnel It will shine so bright all time The whole wild world will embrace the Nobody can stop us, nobody can cage us, nobody can stand us, yeah. There we know, there we know. The sun is rising from east to west, from north to south. Can't you see the sun is rising? Oh, you wave your flag and be proud of who you are. Because the sun is rising, we're shining so bright. All over the world, we are the sun, we are rising. The windows and curtains, green lights be revealing. When I think about how blessed we are, goosebumps all over my body. Sunrise to the clock strike. Black strands crossing gray stripes. Clashes upon clashes, many lives come to ashes. When I ponder and reminisce, the actions I see malice. Blood on the ground, this is how we fly. Our beautiful flag all around the world. Blood on the ground, this is how we fly. Our beautiful flag all around the world. We go carry the cross together. We walk through to Zion. We stumble, we we'll rise. How do we do a Great, dear friends, wherever you are on the face of this planet, we welcome you to another very sober edition of Radio Biafra Live presentation this very evening, the 23rd day, Sunday, the 23rd of August, in the year of our most high Elohim. 2020 the time now is precisely four minutes past 7 p.m in the blessed land of biafra i would say that i welcome you because regardless as the prayer of david reminds us all the time in good we worship the most high elohim in bad we also offer him praise because he is the author and the finisher and the giver of life this very evening as i welcome you we must also ponder and reflect upon those that the zoo rather very crudely and unceremoniously brought their lives to an end in an unprovoked attack our hearts go out to them to the entire family of ipob to their loved ones who are left mourning and bereaved and very sadly, uh, we have to report this evening that as we are here broadcasting to the entirety of humanity, the slaughter and the mayhem is still going on there. The terrorists that day actually gave their police and army uniforms to are busy killing and slaughtering people. But we must observe our protocol. We must, as a duty, acknowledge those who are listening right across the surface of this very planet because radio biafra is listened to by all and sundry regardless of where you are as long as you have an internet enabled device you should and ought to be able to listen to us for those of you who are at home and for some parts of lagos 
you should be listening to us on fm at this precise moment especially those who are around the papa area we are also on satellite we are on radio biafra app but more critically or should i say more importantly on ibob community radio the whole world is listening i will therefore encourage each and every one of you especially those who are listening live on my page on facebook to do all you can to disseminate this very information i do know there are some restrictions in place the facebook will not allow people to share this very broadcast but you should do all you can those of you who are allowed to to make sure that this very link gets to the end of this very earth because our broadcast this evening is very important we need the key stakeholders on this very planet to listen and to listen very carefully but all the same i must say good morning good afternoon good evening and good night to some of you regardless of where you are my name is Anam Dekan. I am the leader of IBOB all over the world, indigenous people of Biafra, and by the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. And as it is customary with us here, we must pray, we must hand over every step, every proceeding, every undertaking into the capable hands of the Most High Elohim, to take direct control, especially this very evening as our people are being needlessly killed by the terrorists who are in uniform. And we must pray. It is a prayer from the very holy book of Torah. That we pray this evening to the hearing of the whole of humanity. For when the house of Israel went out of Egypt, as we are about to leave the zoo, this house of Jacob from a people of strange language, as we are embarking on this very critical effort to abandon the damnable zoological republic, a strange land created by the British for the inhabitation of those who can barely reason very well. We call upon thee because this blessed land of Biafra is the sanctuary of the God of the ancients. Because Biafra has been chosen to bring light to the darkness that is the continent of Africa. Because the sea saw the children of Israel and fled the same way our enemies will see us and they will flee. The mountains will jump from their places. Every tongue that rose or wagged against this divine project will be cut off and driven back to its truth. For the earth is about to tremble. For they shall know that this very God we worship, the one and only indivisible God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, unto whom every glory, every exaltation, and every adoration belongs, that this same God has a presence in our lives, that Biafra must be restored very imminently and that the gates of hell shall not prevail over those who are chosen to do the will of Almighty God in heaven. This very family, this very IPOB is blessed. And though we have lost men this very day, not through any fault of our own, but due to the unprovoked homicidal tendencies of the enemy, that you, God in heaven, Chukukika Biyama, will look upon our plight and have mercy upon us. Redeem us from the hands of these evil people. That this same Biafra that you decreed must exist in peace, in freedom and in harmony, will come to be in our time. And we pray this very year to the glory of your name. 
now and forevermore. He said, he said, he said, usually I make it a point of duty to ask people to bring their pen and their paper with them when they come to us. Today is not going to be an exception. In fact, I would even say that today is more important than most days because I would need people to come with their pen and paper to note down all the facts to be able also to interrogate all the points we are going to raise and of course to hold the zoo responsible for the needless slaughter and mayhem that took place in MNA today. I will start by paraphrasing what somebody wrote, his name is Uche Okoye. Uche Okoye wrote and said, this provocation of our people by the Nigerian police will be met with greater resistance. Shooting unarmed people while you pardon terrorist groups like Boko Haram Enough of these senseless killings. The Nigeria police must be stopped from shooting our people. The killing of IPOB family members in Enugu by the Nigerian police today is an act of calculated provocation and it is getting out of hand. They cannot continue to come to our land to spill blood. We are no longer going to tolerate it. Those of them who are funding the police in our land, giving them Hilux vans, those of them donating their land to the police in our land, in the blessed land of Biafra, must stop from this night. From today, anybody who gives any donation to the police will be seen as an enemy of the people. Anybody who gives money to the police will be seen as an enemy of the people because the zoo police and their army only showcase their strength in our land. The videos are bound and I want those videos to be posted on my wall on Facebook to alert the world to the barbarism and crude reality of existence of Biafran people in the British created zoological republic. They cannot fight Boko Haram, they say they do not have men. A few days ago, Lai Mohammed said that they do not have weapons, they were begging the world to give them weapons. And all these years we've been doing our best to alert the world to the danger that portends that giving arms to the Nigerian army or their police means arming terrorists. There is no difference between the Nigerian police and the Nigerian army. There is no difference between these two arms of government and Boko Haram, ISIS, and Saru, and also Fulani bandits. There is no difference. They are the same people. For those of you who are hard at hearing, the job of the Nigerian army today, the Fulani Janjaweed army, is to intimidate to frighten us, it is to make us turn to lily-livered cowards, to pave the way for the overrun of our land by terrorists from heaven knows where. I want people to document what I have to say, especially the British government who are listening via the embassy, or should I say the High Commission in Abuja, we also want to let the EU understand this and also the government of the United States of America. That this very provocation today is part of a long-held plan by the Fulani Janjaweed to intimidate us into submission so that the terrorists will come in to overrun our land. Today, for those who are very good at turning truth upside down, 
what obtained today in MNA in Enugu is as simple as this. People, we are gathered in an area where you have churches. They went there to pray and to worship on a Sunday, which they have been doing over the years. And without warning, the police came. It was a fenced compound. The police came with DSS and started knocking on the door, banging very furiously and loudly on the gate. The gate was padlocked. As they were knocking, somebody came out to open the gate to inquire what the problem was. And they grabbed hold of him. And when people left the prayer that they were conducting to come and inquire from the police what happened, as always and without provocation, they opened fire on unarmed civilians. The same thing they did to us in National High School in Aba. The same thing they did to us during Trump rally in Iguacha. The same thing they did to us at an all. The same thing they did when they came to my house. The same thing they have been doing all over the place in Oweri. The same thing they did in Onesha. They have done it in Enugu before. And the question is, why is it that the Nigerian army and police find it so, should I say, normal to open fire on Biafran people anytime they see them. The question you need to ask yourself is this. Where did police go to to go and look for these people that they were killing today? Was there any provocation in Enugu? Was there any robbery anywhere? Was there any protest by anybody anywhere? The police consciously left their barracks or their station or wherever they were to go and kill innocent people. To say exactly what led them to a peaceful gathering of people who were praying and to open fire on them. The question I have to ask is, will such a thing happen in Arewako North? The answer is no. Will such a thing even happen in Yoruba land, you know, Duduwa land? The answer is no. Will this indiscriminate slaughter of innocent people happen anywhere else? Of course, the answer is no. And do you know why they keep doing it and getting away with it? Because when they killed us at Umpur, there was no reprisal, nothing happened. No inquiry. Amnesty spent time compiling their report and nothing came of it. They killed us during Trump rally. So that rally in Iguacha, nothing happened. They came to my house and they slaughtered and nothing happened. Of course, with the active connivance of some politicians and those that call themselves elders. For the simple fact that those who claim to wield political power as a result of years of compromise, as a result of years of serving the Janjaweed, that their people are being killed on a regular basis, but they would dare not rise up to say anything. They're all cowardly. You can see the result and the consequences of it. Because we do not control the mainstream media in Nigeria. Because Britain would like to see us slaughtered and killed. Nobody will talk about it. Have you noticed today that nobody wants to talk about this very heinous crime of man against man? People were praying exactly what happened at National High School in Aba. People gathered praying. They went to lie to BBC well, that the people praying that they were armed, that the police came and they opened fire. They don't know all these things, we have them on tape. They were videoed. The mayhem and the massacre is all over the place on social media. Because 
The Shia people are killed and nothing happens. Buratai was responsible for the slaughter of over a thousand Shia civilians in Kaduna and nothing happened to him. The powers that be, what those are called the forces of neocolonialism, they protected him. Those that wants the corrupt entity called Zoo Nigeria to continue, they protected him. Today, again in the morning, they killed Shia again in Kaduna and nothing will come of it. But we have the American Embassy in Abuja, we have the British High Commission, the EU is there, the UN is there. They can see all these things. Nobody will ever ask those in Asorok. Nobody will ask the Fulani police commissioner in Enugu State. What did these people do that you went to go and kill them today? Nobody will ask that question. Because some people somewhere want their friends to be wiped off the face of the earth. Them with their ifulefu bloodline that they gave to us in our land. I want somebody to ask the police today. You left your barracks, you left your police station to go to a private compound to go and kill people. What did they do to you? Did anybody report any disturbance? Was there any robbery going on anywhere? Why would the police show this level of force in Biafra land when they cannot do the same in the north? We, are, we have no terrorist group in our land. Look at the way they are killing us. The same Fulani people with six terrorist groups, six they formed and they formed six groups. They are the ones with army and police uniform coming to our land that is peaceful to kill us. And Britain is quiet. The EU is quiet. The US ambassador is quiet. Everybody is quiet. They've all gone deaf and dumb. I challenge any zoo journalist. I challenge anybody anywhere in the world with conscience to come out in the open and tell the world in what way, or should I say in which way, IPOB provoked the police in Enugu today. You will find there is none. The police left, and DSS, they left their offices and their barracks to go and look for people to kill. Do you know why they do that all the time? Because we are not armed. They do it all the time because there is no reprisal. They do it all the time because we are not terrorists. They do it all the time because they understand that we subscribe to the school of peaceful agitation. But from today onwards, I'm saying it loud and clear that the world may hear me very well. Because if we do nothing, believe you me, anytime they see a group of young Biafran men walking on the streets, they open fire on them. They know that the Lagos about the expressway media will cover them because Tinubu wants to be the president. So they will do everything to cover up this very story. The relentless slaughter of the innocent going on. Terrorists are busy killing. The police and the army are also busy killing in Biafra land, killing innocent people. And what I want our people to understand today is this. If we fold our hands and keep quiet, they will kill all of us. It is something they've been planning to do for a very long time. And Britain will support them. I want you to understand this. Britain will always support them. That is why there will be no report going to London from Abuja regarding these senseless killings today. There will be none. There will be none. It is as if there is this grand global conspiracy to kill off the Biafran people to exterminate the Iboris. The same thing that the Jews went through in Europe. Where these things are coming from, I do not know. That people can no longer pray in peace. All of you saw it. How they were posing. These are the same police people that were redeployed, that were deployed to Bruno and they were crying. They cannot fight. But they specialize in the brutal murder and slaughter of unarmed, innocent civilians. You can now understand why Facebook is suppressing everything that we are doing. 
people do not understand the depth of this conspiracy against us. And until we recognize it and rise up to say enough is enough, these killings will continue. And bearing that in mind, I have a few announcements to make this very evening. From today onwards, today is the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, of August, Sunday the 23rd of August, 2020. From today onwards, I want people to listen to me very carefully. From today onwards, anywhere the Nigerian army, the police or the DSS, or any of the numerous Fulani sponsored terrorists is involved in the killing of any unarmed civilian in Biafra land, we will kill them too. That thing they're looking for, they will get it. And I let me remind the zoo of one thing. You have six terrorist groups in the north ravaging and killing at will. The worst mistake you can ever make is to try to come to Biafra land to fight a full-blown war. Because your land will be taken over by terrorists. When you go back, you will have nothing. For those of you from the middle belt, that your children are serving in the zoo police, in the Nigerian police or the army, involved in the killing of IPOB family members, I want to assure you that you will bury your own very, very soon. That is an assurance. I'm saying it so that the world can hear me. And I'm saying all these things because I wish they can be so foolish enough or that any fool anywhere, any idiot anywhere will be so foolish enough to pick me up on this, to say this was what you said. That day I will tell you how upset I am. So all of you, you want us to keep quiet until they kill, finish killing all of our young men and women. Then you'll be very happy. People talk about peaceful agitation, Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi and all the rest of them. Martin Luther King was dealing with white people who are reasonable, people who have conscience. Same as Gandhi. Mandela was fighting against more or less, apartheid was very awful, but against white people who can sit back and take stock of their actions. They have conscience. In the zoo, as in most other black African countries, we are dealing with demons, people without a soul, people without conscience. You don't do peaceful agitation where there are people without a soul. They don't have any soul. They have no being in them. They are killers and murderers. The only language to understand is force. This evening, I am signifying my intention to raise the banner. I'm letting them know. Now, if the killings were to continue in Enugu tonight, we are going to kill police and army people in Enugu. They are going to go into a war they can never win. If illiterate, poorly educated Boko Haram can give them problems, imagine what we can do to them, an army of volunteers. I am saying it so that the world can hear it loud and clear, that if we allow what obtained today to continue, there will come a time when there will be no Biafran under the age of 30 in our land. They will kill everybody as they wanted to do after the war. And groom if we live with instead. Any day you kill our people, if you like, try us, you will see. If you kill us in Enugu tonight, for each person you kill, 100 of you will die. They may not find your corpse. I'm telling them so they know. Your corpse will not be found. But you will die. In Enugu, you will die there. All of you will die there. Because we've done nothing to you. Absolutely nothing. People are praying and you're killing them. What for? Are we at war? Did we go to war with anybody? Why is it that people who claim to have conscience, people who claim to go to church, people, that is why I keep saying all the time, that is why God abandoned black people because they are very wicked. It's a very wicked and evil race. I say it without apologies to anyone. 
a race that cannot reason very well. What did people, what, in what way did people that gathered, were praying, how did they offend the Nigerian government? How? Can somebody please explain that to me? How? All they do is to lie, to fabricate lies, to go to run to the media and to start lying. That was what lying Muhammad taught them. To lie and to deceive. To propagate falsehood. But I'm telling them it's not going to wash with us. What we are saying and we keep saying is this. For every Biafran you kill, 100 of you will die. So for the idiots who will rise up tomorrow to say, oh, there is insecurity. There is problem everywhere. I want you to understand the game plan of the Fulani. They intimidate with their army and their police and their terrorists will come in to invade. That's what they're doing. What they're doing is to soften us up so that our land can be taken over, but it's not going to happen. It will not happen. And they know it's not going to happen. Today, in any good day, just is a little taste of what we can do when you provoke us. And I'm sure they are there by now. They must have understood it. And this evening, I'm giving the order. Wherever any Biafran is shot dead, I expect the police and the army in that place to be killed. We outnumber them. So they can't kill all of us. We outnumber them in our own land. We know the terrain. We are, so the reason why I'm saying that is so that the idiots who will be writing their epistles for compromised newspapers tomorrow so that they understand the genesis of the problem. Because if I allow these people, they will kill all of us. Because if you allow them and say, oh, we are being very peaceful, they will come to their senses. They, they get worse and worse and worse and worse. We are not going to allow that to happen. Not anymore. They are going to bury their own dead as well. That is if they can find them. Because I will make sure they will not find them. That thing the world is looking for from their friends, now they are going to get it. They are going to get it. And I am giving our people only eight weeks. Only eight weeks. Anybody who comes to any checkpoint and gives them money again in Biafra land after two months, God will punish you. You see all these Fulani idiots with their roadblocks in our land. In eight weeks' time, we will not give them one dime. If they like, let them stop our vehicle from going where it's going for a day or two or three. So be it. The same nonsense doesn't happen in the north. The same level of killings and intimidation we have in our land does not happen in the north. And they think we value life so much that they can do whatever they like to us and we we'll keep quiet. But not us and not this IPOB. We are going to remain visible. We will fly our flag every blessed day. But what I'm saying, because of what is happening in Enugu right now, I am suspending every IPOB family meeting in Enugu state. Let us deal with these people. Because this nonsense is too much. They think because we kept quiet, we cannot do anything. That's what they, they, you see how foolish they are. That was why they killed Muhammad Yusuf and Boko Haram became violent. Boko Haram was peaceful before. Is this same useless police that caused Boko Haram to become violent? But when you hear people talk about Boko Haram, they start the story from the bottom. Because Nigeria, Nigerians, those niggers created by Britain, they are evil people. They are evil. They support evil. And evil will consume them. It's an order to the whole of volunteer command in every state. We have work to do in any good state. So I'm suspending all IPOB family meetings in any good state. Everybody involved in today's shooting, the head of SARS and all the rest of them, we are going to hunt them down, all of them, one after the other. That thing that will happen in the next six years, let it happen this 2020. You know what I told you about the next two weeks being very pivotal? You know what I told you about 2020? They are the ones now forcing our hand. And they are going to get it. We will bury our own, but you will not see your own to bury. You won't find them. There is a snake in local language called Akege. Go and, and find out what it is. 
we own our land. You people are visitors into our land, including the idiot who claims he's the police commissioner in any state. You came to our land to kill our people for no reason. Your people are the terrorists. Fulani are the people in Boko Haram. They are the ones in Ansaru. All of you are the ones who are in, 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 in doing your banditry in the north. All of you are the ones killing innocent people in southern Kaduna. All of you are the ones in ISIS. All of you are the ones in Al Qaeda. You are the ones in Mieti Yala Fulani headsmen. All of you. You didn't. You, you, you abandoned the north to confront your own demons. You came down to the east to kill innocent people. For agitating for their freedom, something they have a right to do. Because you have all the guns, you think you have all the guns and all the firepower. Look at them posing, jumping from hillocks, posing against unarmed civilians. The day will come out armed. You will not be jumping, you'll be crawling on the floor. You see that posing, you're posing, jumping from hillocks, pointing your guns, knocking at, on doors and arresting people. When the real problem starts, you'll be crawling, you'll be crawling on the ground i'm saying it so that because our people are very funny they want to be told everything they want to be told they want to be taken uh, to be carried along that's what they say they want to hear every secret now we're making it very very open anywhere the police or the army i don't care what sort of drugs they're on anywhere they kill a civilian from today we will revenge we will retaliate for those of you that prefer to write to foreign governments asking them not to allow me to come in, come and cut out these bits of my broadcast and send it to them as well. Because from today, 23rd of August 2020, the game has changed. And I want to inform the Fulani that we are more intelligent than them. We are infinitely gifted with intellect than them. And I want to remind them that 67 to 70 is not 2020. The world has moved on. They've been trying our resolve, trying us all the time with the active connivance of traitors within. I think we have come to the end of the road. We have. We have. And I want Britain, USA, and EU to understand that for years we have kept quiet in the hope that foreign terrorists in uniform could somehow be persuaded by reason to leave us alone. But instead of leaving us alone, they have intensified their murderous tendencies. Because the more quiet you are, the more... That is one thing about Fulani, the more they, they want to kill you. Reason, I have no idea. Did we hurt... Did anybody from Enugu State today report that there was riot or mayhem in Enugu? You left... You, you went to the, a private secluded compound to go and kill people. That did nothing to you. As the media are saying, oh, uh, uh, may their soul rest in peace, uh, those who we are misled, those who died today. And uh, as I said, I have signified my intention to raise the banner. You see, a fool will be hunted along with these people, and we are going to find them. We have the time, we have the resources, and we have the means. We are going to find them. The best thing for you to do now is pack your things and go back to your people in the north. All of you fathered by Janja with all of you. Oh, let me not speak against the spirit. Now, listen. I remember somewhere in the New Testament, it says that um, Yeshua said, if, if somebody slaps you on one cheek, you turn the other one, they will slap you. They've been slapping us on one side, and we turned to the other side for them to slap us again to show that we're very peaceful. What they now did was to bring out their knife and cut off our head. That's what they have done. And this nonsense comes to an end tonight. They want something and now they will get it. And we are going to defend our land against all the terrorists they are bringing in. You saw the van streaming into a boy. Because we tell them they cannot be in a boy. If you are a full any person, you must go inside the township to go and rent a house. You cannot live in our forest. I said you cannot. I lead IPOB and I'm telling you. And they're getting it hot, of course. They know. Is it because we don't publish it? 
They cannot live in our forest. You must go to the town to live. It doesn't matter how much reinforcement you bring in. Because the more reinforcement you bring in, the more Boko Haram will overrun your territory and slaughter your village. All of you idiots. That they brought in with the Homer boss into a burning state. I'm warning all of you that the nonsense will not happen again. We allowed them, we allowed everybody out of fear and trepidation. All of you animals in the zoo called Nigerians, you allowed Fulani to get away with murder. That is why Buhari is dead since 2017. They bring out little, little boys with face masks to be the single because they have intimidated all of you. You are all cowards. You can't do nothing. That is why they have enacted a law to go into the churches and to appoint an imam to sit on the board of a church, a Christian church, and take it over from you. Because all of you are cowards. But we are in IPOB. We are not. And today, many good are getting it hot. And I, I've, I've given the order. And I can never, ever, ever rescind it. Wherever they kill our people now, we'll hunt them down. For each person they kill, I want 100 security personnel of the zoo to be slaughtered as well. 100. And as we kill them, they cannot see their corpse. They can't see their dead bodies. They can't see them. We will bury our own, but they will not bury theirs. Because this rubbish is too much. Because the more you leave them, now they are going door to door, house to house, knocking, bringing up people and shooting them. What they did in Zari against Zari, El Zagzagi, they want to do in our land. It can't happen now. It can't happen. Because I want the world to understand those people who are so foolish, those people who are so possessed by evil spirit that they cannot reason properly. When you tell the story of Enugu where it all began, Start from the beginning. The people we are praying, the same way we were at National High School, Abba, minding our business, minding our business as a peaceful, God-fearing movement. These people came and opened fire on innocent people. And you're telling me that there is nothing wrong with how sad the world has become. What did we do? Nothing. Did we kill anybody? Did we offend anybody? Was there any riot in Enugu? Did they say any house was burning down? Did they say they saw people with arms? Of course the answer is no. Why would you go to kill innocent people who are on their own praying? Why? Why? I will tell you. Because they killed Shia people in, in the north and they got away with it in Kaduna. Members of the Islamic movement in, in, in Nigeria, the Shias, have claimed that they clash. They always say clash. There are some people. That is why I keep saying that a black person is evil. Some of you get upset. I don't believe you. I don't give a damn if you do or not. But it has, it, it takes an evil person. Some of you are listening in your homes now. And I come to your house with AK-47. I start shooting all of your children dead in front of you. And somebody will write in Lagos. There was a clash between Enam the Kano and this family. Clash. Clash. You are on your own in your bedroom sleeping. Somebody came into your house to kill you. A journalist that claims he or she has conscience will still say there was a clash. Do you see why black people are backwards and Africa is very poor? Because of the level of wickedness and evil that we harbor as a people. People were on their own praying. And a journalist who claims to have brain cells in their skull, somebody who claims to be objective, Instead of you to say that police stormed or attacked, you said it was a clash. Clash where? Were we protesting on the road or on the streets? How can any body, how can any human being with conscience say that people who were in a secluded compound praying that they clashed with the police? Because they want to give you the impression that IPOB is troublesome. 
that somehow we may have invited this misfortune to befall us. But they're all liars. They're all hypocrites and children of perdition. They know what they are doing. It is in their interest that the Fulani Janja widow obliterates our race from the face of the earth. As I keep saying all the time, the Jews suffer the same fate. Hatred out of nowhere. People just want a Jew dead. If you ask him, what did this Jew do to you? Nothing. Because we are blessed. We are a blessed people. And that is why we are going to prevail. We are going to triumph. But from today, an eye for an eye and a tooth for it is a standing order to the volunteer command. If they arrest us, we arrest them. If they keep us in detention, we'll keep them in detention. I'm telling Britain now so that when they start spinning the news and lying to the world about what IPOB is doing, that they get the facts accurately. We are not criminals. We attend rallies and nobody will complain of his purse or his wallet or his phone missing. We are God-fearing people and we are peace-loving people. But because we are peace-loving people doesn't mean we can no longer speak our mind. It doesn't mean that at all. We are agitating for freedom. As I said earlier, if you won't allow us to agitate in peace, we agitate in pieces. Since that is the only language some of you understand. And that's what we're going to do. In the north, they started killing Shia. Every time Fulani, they love killing her. What they're doing with killing, with blood, I have no idea. I thought that the blood of cattle and cows would be enough for them. But it's never enough. When they're not killing Christians of Saudi, they always target people they claim are minority. Why they do that, I have no idea. They want to kill. They want to kill. And Britain is there, seeing all these things and supporting them. Nobody's talking. Nobody wants to say a word. Because of what the, because of oil and gas concessions. We can die. Something that God blessed us with. You want to kill us? You Oh my goodness. They have killed Shia also in the north. And why are they killing Shia people in the north? Because they're they not fighting back. But you see them begging Boko Haram, please come, let's negotiate. Come, let's talk. You see their governors giving money to bandits. Oh, please don't do this again. We are begging you. Once you're not armed, you are nobody. They can kill you as they like. This is something that I want Britain to understand. I want the United Kingdom to understand this. I want the UK High Commissioner in Abuja to understand this. I want the US Ambassador in Nigeria to understand this. I want the EU mission to Nigeria to understand this. I want the UN to understand it. That if you keep quiet, Fulani will kill you for no reason. And we are no longer going to keep quiet. I don't care nor mind how they twist it. I don't care. I don't care. We are going to die. Yes, we are going to die. But all of you will die as well with us. That is a promise. So I want the Nigerian journalists, all of you based in Abuja or in Lagos, that uh, you are working for Satan. You, you, you love writing rubbish. I want you to understand something. If you, some of you don't know English language, you go back to school and study grammar very well. Because some of you are a disgrace to journalism. An absolute disgrace to journalism. How can I be in my house and I will clash with police? Clash for what? You are sitting in your sitting room watching TV. Somebody will bust in, shooting and killing all, everybody, every occupant. You are telling me it's clash. God will punish all of you. They said this happened on Saturday. Evening in a place called High in Bello neighborhood. A team of policemen, policemen again, attacked a gathering of Shia people. Once they, once they, once you fall and they hate you, once you gather, they tell the police commissioner, like the idiot, Nenuku, attack them, attack them, they attack. And Britain is there in Abuja. All these diplomats, they are there keeping quiet. Because you want Biafrans to be killed. You want Igbo people obliterated from the face of the earth. That is their grand plan. But it won't work. We can assure them it's going to work. The Shias are being killed because they're not armed. Are they killing any armed group? 
Is there anybody who is armed who is in court facing trial? Anybody who is armed from Boko Haram to Ansaru to, to ISIS in West Africa, all of them, is there anybody who is in court? Because they are all armed. That's how you get respect. If you don't have guns and ammunition, you have no respect in the zoo. Once you are quiet, they will extort money from you. Once they are tired, they will start killing you. As they are doing to us now. And we are not going to allow it to continue. At least with any now, they will know how serious we are. Tonight, they will understand how serious we are. We are now prepared to die with them. So that when this story starts happening from tomorrow, the world can understand. The whole world is there looking, pretending they can't see what is going on. Pretending Fulani terrorists are busy on one side killing people. And the army and police are on the other side also slaughtering innocent people. And all of you are just quiet, keeping quiet. Pretending as if all is well, all is good. No, it is not. We are the ones who are suffering. And enough is enough. That we can assure you. From today onwards, the game changes completely. If they succeed in the north in killing unarmed Shia people, they can also kill us in any good as they are, think they are thinking. For no reason, the police entered a fenced compound and opened fire on people minding their business. And somebody is trying to justify that by saying there was a clash. Black people, you see how evil you are. That is why you are black and that is why everywhere in the world where you have black people, they are backwards. They are the ones suffering. They are the ones being sold as slaves because our hearts are evil. Evil. Very sad indeed. According to one newspaper, there was a clash. A clash. As a journalist, you couldn't ask the police, what did you go to look for in that compound you went to? What was happening there? Couldn't these journalists ask the nearby churches? There are churches nearby. People doing Sunday service and Sunday, Sunday worship as well. Why couldn't you ask them? Knowing fully well that the police and the army, they lie all the time. They lie all the time. You couldn't do it. Lazy journalism. And the, the police gave you some money. And then you wrote there was a clash. That's how they start. Once they start with a the clash, then they start shifting the blame. All of a sudden, it is now IPOB's fault for praying. For being in a fenced compound and praying, it is now their fault. This zoo must divide. If we allow Nigeria to continue like this, we are finished. Our future generations will never forgive us. Never, ever forgive us. You must understand this. The reason why Britain is in support of what the Fulanese are doing is this. They have always been together in this plan to exterminate and kill our people. In 1957, there was an attempt to give the zoo independence. And who was leading that independence movement? Is it an Igbo man? Nandezikiwe? Do you know that those who are telling you today about patriotism and loving Nigeria, the Fulani stood up and said, no, we don't want to be free. We want to remain as slaves to the British. Are you aware of that? And some of you are even aware of that. I doubt that. I doubt it very much. I don't think you are aware. I don't think so. But that is the truth. That is the truth. The Fulani said, no, Britain, please be our master. Britain said, okay, you are loyal servants. Because of that, I'll give you everything you want. The fact that today, the Fulanis are killing people at will. Police and army opening fire for no reason on innocent gathering. is because Britain is saying, do whatever you like. I'll cover, I'll cover up for you. That's what they're doing. That's what Britain is doing. Because Britain is doing the work of Lucifer to destroy the light of God. To destroy the people of that hexagram, those with the sacred knowledge of the truth. Those that have wisdom, destroy them with those who are born in darkness. I keep asking you every time, if you want to know how evil and backwards the Fulanese are, name one Fulani poet, you know. Name one Fulani writer. Name one Fulani artist, you know, that is none. 
because they are from darkness. And that is where they are going to return to very, very soon. Very, very soon. When they come out and they lie, the Zoom media will carry all their lies the same way they have told it. That the bandits who are terrorizing Nigeria are Sudanese, Malians, and others. IGP, Inspector General of Police. That those who are terrorizing people, killing them, are from Mali. If they are from Mali, why are you giving them amnesty? Then, so there is nobody from Mali or Sudan or any other place who is in Boko Haram. No, they are all exclusively Fulani. Do you see what they do? Do you see the way they lie? Do you see the way they manipulate the truth? But sadly, very, very sadly, of course, and as a result, direct consequence of the poverty of knowledge that, you know, pervades the entire education system in the zoo. Some of you gobble up this garbage. When there are bandits, they are from Sudan, from Mali, but those who are killing in Biafra land, they are Biafrans. They are Igbo people who will kill them in Enugu. Are there, are we bandits? Are we killing people? Are we kidnapping people? Is there anything of that sort happening in our land? The answer is no. Then why are you killing people? Why are you killing innocent people? Those who are killing you are from Sudan. So you will say they're not full any. But who opened the border for them? This year, did you not say, did this same useless mask wearing regime in Asorok, did you not announce that you're opening the borders for all of them to come in, to come and take over? Are they not the ones in our villages? That some of us are so foolish and so hopeless, we are just there, sheepishly, moping. As these invaders take over our land, our forests, everywhere taken over. That some of you don't know what IPOB is undergoing on a daily basis. Without us, they would have run you for a long time. All of you will be answering Musa by now, or Idris. We are the last line of defense between total, I wouldn't even call it conquest, enslavement and freedom, IPOB. We are the ones standing in the gap. That is why they don't want to hear that we are gathering anywhere. They don't want to hear it because they know that we are the savior of our people. They, know, they understand it very well. Look at the other idiots. Those who are having handshake across the river Benue, or maybe across a mold, you believe. You can see them very clearly. Fulani is killing you. Fulani is coming to you, telling you about your peace and one Nigeria, and you're listening. You, because you're foolish. The same tricks they played on Hausa people, and today, Hausa people are their slaves forever and ever. It's the same thing that playing on some of you that claim you went to school, yet you are blind, you cannot see. That is why they give you governors who will be your governor. That is the reason why they tell you who your leaders are going to be. Very, very sad. Bandits terrorizing you are from Sudan. Really? From Sudan? From Mali? Then who allowed them to come in? So they came in without papers, yes? And they came in from Mali, from Sudan, from everywhere, with no guns. And then they came to the zoo, and now they have guns. Who gave it to them? Elrufai and go. Yet our people will not learn. Our people will not understand. They will not understand. They will never tell you that the people terrorizing and killing you are foreign people. The same people who are in the army today killing innocent people. The same people who are more interested in the slaughter of the civilians than in actual keeping of law and order. They don't know what law and order is all about. All they know is to kill, to intimidate, so that the takeover of your land will be very, very easy and very, very smooth. They have an agenda of conquest. Somebody told me, of course we all, we all know that. They are the Tuaregs and the Baba people. They are from Niger, from Chad, from Mali, from Mauritania, from everywhere. And their mission is to kill. They always go to kill. They unite themselves. But in the zoo, you cannot tell the difference between a Tuareg and the, and the, and the Janjaweed from the north. Can you? You cannot tell. And every day, is one Nigeria. No, oh, President Xi should come to the south. We need to, we should be part of this discussion, moving the debate forward. And they are tweaking and fooling all of you. And as they are fooling all of you, all of you are falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker. And they're messing you up every blessed day. They're messing you up every blessed day. 
Today they are claiming it is, it is Sudanese and, and Malians who, who are killing you. But you, you forgot when 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 the idiot went to the mask where Aisha's boyfriend went to Egypt and said our borders will be open to every West African country. Have you forgotten? But in the south, in Badagri, the border is closed. But in the north, the borders are open. And people claim they are in Nigeria. They are one night. People are mad. They are insane. Let me tell you something. I used to I used to investigate and interrogate the stupidity of a black man. But when you forget all of that and focus your, your studies and analysis on the zoo, you will understand that seriously, a black person has a problem. He went to Egypt and he announced and said, our borders will be open in the north, but in the south, the borders are closed. And all of you, are, you, you, you move about as if there is nothing wrong, as if all is well. What does that tell you about who you are? What does that tell you about how foolish you are in terms of your reasoning? Very sad. Very, very sad indeed. Remember that Aoudou Obe have said that what is happening now in the zoo called Nigeria is like another civil war that is going on. Civil war that is going on. And what the Fulanese have done is to bring their killing and mayhem to our land. We have not done anything to them. We have not committed. Nobody killed today committed any offense known to law. Nobody. Nobody committed any offense. But they had to kill them. Because it's Fulani, they must kill. It's in their nature. El Rufain went out and said, I paid people to stop killing. A whole sitting governor said, I paid people to stop killing. Yet all of you, you learn nothing from it. Absolutely nothing. And that is why today, insecurity and killings in Nigeria is like a civil war, according to Aoudou Ogwe. Who is killing who? Have you ever... Is it Yoruba is killing people? No. Is it Nube people killing? No. Is it Evon Bagi killing? No. Is it Giron people who are killing? No. Is it TV who are killing people? No. Is it Jukun who are killing? No. For once, I want an average zoo animal in Nigeria. Those of you with zoo passport, ask yourself this question. Just put your hand on your chin and ask yourself, who are the people doing all these killings anyway? Insecurity, in, who are the ones doing it? You will find out your horror is always funny. You will find out your disgust. Is and the funniest thing is that they come to your land. They pick out one or two or three people. They enable them. They give them money. They give them contracts. And all of you will focus all of your attention on those individuals. And you will see them hailing their oppressor. You will hear that because of the money they've been given. You, they'll be hailing the oppressor. Oh, this man is the best thing since sliced bread. Exactly what they did to house our people. And today, the house, apart from language, they don't know. Everyone will say, oh, Hausa people, you're making a mistake. You should be saying Fulani. That is nothing like Hausa. Hausa, only language. Hausa does not exist. All they have is language. They've been taken over. Every emir is Fulani. Every governor is Fulani. So what sort of people are these? Is, is, is a Fulani Emirate part of Hausa culture? The answer is no. Fulani Emirate is never, ever, ever part of Hausa culture. Never. The houses they had kings, not emirs. All of you, you cannot reason. You claim you are intelligent, you went to school. You cannot reason. You cannot reason. Ask yourself, all this insecurity, people are dying, people are being killed. Ask yourself this question. Who are the people killing? Who is killing who? And you'll be shot. One tribe only, Fulani. That is why, as small as they are, they control the army, the navy, the police, everything they control, everything, including customs, everything. So arms can be coming in uninterrupted. They are the ones lecturing us about arms. You shouldn't keep arms in your homes. These are the people killing. These are the ones raping. These are the ones abducting our daughters. These are the ones raping our mothers. Every blessed day, they are the ones killing us. They will come to you and say, oh, we've come in peace. We want to build one country together. You are a fool. Because you know nothing. That is why Fulani is messing with your brains. Messing with you all the time. Now listen. The chairman of Arewa Consultative Forum and Minister of Agriculture under 
the uh, uh, Buhari's first time when he was alive before his death and buried in Saudi Arabia. His name is Chief Audu. He has lamented that Nigeria has never witnessed the type of security challenges it is currently facing. Where lives are wasted day and night, except during a war. Where lives are wasted, as they wasted lives in Yemen for no reason. You know, people have people are contending with terrorists. Also, the police and the army are busy killing innocent people. I, I can't, for the life of me, I don't understand it. I don't know the meaning of it. I don't, I don't understand it. And these are idiots asking for weapons from abroad. And all those people who ever contemplated giving weapons to these people, to these animals, you can see what they do with it. They kill civilians. Are they fighting Boko Haram? No. Are they fighting bandits? No. But they are in Enugu killing innocent people. And you're telling us, this is from uh, Audu Ogbe, who is the chairman of Alaba. You know, they're very clever people. Audu Ogbe, I think it's from Benue or Darabat, is it, or Plateau? He is not full anew. <laughs> he doesn't know that him being the chairman of Arewa is doing full anew bidding for them as go on foolishly wasted 11 years of his useless life as head of state. He thought he's one north. And by the way, to tell you how evil Britain was be before uh, their colonial rule ended, go and look at the map of the zoo again. Go and, go to, go and Google it. Map of the zoo. Google it. North and south. And you will see it. Go and divide the zoo into four, and see where they, 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 they. In fact, Britain gave them gave the north. They came all the way to to, to close to Nsoka. It's north. Nsoka, Nsoka boundary with Benue is north. Have you heard of such rubbish before? Because all of you, 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 you kept quiet. Now that IPOB is doing something, instead of all of you to rise up and say IPOB did nothing wrong to anybody, you all keeping quiet. And one day they will come for all of you. Remember how we started with IPOB? You all kept quiet. And today, there is insecurity everywhere. Fulanis are killing you everywhere because you are all cowards. And we're not going to have that rubbish again. This is from a, from a, from a representative of a Fulani, Arewa, telling you that there is a problem in the zoo. People are dying. Fulanis are killing people with terrorism, killing you with uniform. We're going to run away from who are these people? Why are they like this? Only you can answer that, not us. We must proceed. Earlier this year, the government made a, the zoo government made a statement that they will gradually remove Nigerian troops from troubled areas. That, that the withdrawal is to allow the military focus its primary duty, sorry, focus on its primary duty of defending the nation against external aggression. That was what they said. But I didn't killing people. <laughs> Are they, are they not meant to be around the border towns defending the zoo from, from women selling Cameroon pepper? Who are they going to defend uh, against? The Dainenuku killing innocent people. They have not won the war against terrorism. They have not defeated insurgency in the north. But they are in Enuku busy killing innocent civilians. And nobody, Britain will not ask them, what are you doing in Enuku? Killing it. Why are you not fighting Boko? That bullet you are wasting today in Enuku, why didn't you shoot it inside the um, Sambisa forest? Why in Enuku? Nobody will ask them. They said they were going to focus on on uh, external uh, wording of or uh, wording of external aggression but they need to killing innocent people that is the contradiction of the zoo that is how evil and wicked they are that was how they came to my house and led siege an army you can you see them boasting anytime they go to fight civilians you see them jumping and boasting and and they go and contract a newspaper one idiotic journalist to write garbage as usual as usual. But when they meet Boko Haram, they start, you see them crying like little children. But if it's against unarmed civilians, you oh my word, they are very strong. That is what happens when you belong to a country that should not have existed in the first place. That is what happens when a white man will come from Europe to build a country for you in Africa. Your stupidity goes off, this, off the rails. You can no longer be able to reason properly. That is the problem with us. And we are going to fix it. Believe you me, we are going to fix it. I remember there was a time they asked them, um, they asked them, um, uh, Lai Mohammed, about uh, uh, Fulani headsmen. Why have they not been classified, or should I say, categorized 
as um, a terrorist group. They asked him, this was in 2017, why did, why Nigeria did not declare Fulani headsmen as terrorists? Why? It's a simple question. And uh, Lai Muhammad answered, people who have AK-47 killing people, sacking villages, abducting and raping women, they are not terrorists. But people praying in a compound on their own, they are terrorists. The, the, that, that, is, that is the part of the brain of a black man I can never understand. I don't understand it. Now, let me read it for you, please. It was Guardian newspaper publication of 28th of September after they came to my house and killed as many people as possible. The editorial of Guardian of 28th September 2017, Lai Mohammed said, Nigeria did not designate marauding Flanny headsmen as terrorists despite being responsible for hundreds of death and destruction of properties because their activities were criminal and not terror related. They are simple criminals, not terror related. But IPOB is terror related. IPOB has not killed anyone, not destroyed any property. They are terrorists. But people who are destroying, killing, raping, maiming, abducting, they are mere criminals. That is the brain of a black man. That is why a white man will paint the devil as black. Because you cannot, there is no justification on this earth. Why anybody with common sense, even if you didn't go to school, will, will tolerate people who are wielding semi or should I say automatic weapons, killing people, raping, abducting, destroying properties. You leave them, they're not terrorists, they're criminals. And you now come and categorize an unarmed group that has done nothing wrong. Only ask for their right to be free. You now designate them as terrorists. That is why when 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 I I look at I look at black people, especially those from Nigeria, I I say that those who paint Lucifer as black, they are not mistaken because it takes a special breed of very evil people. Gave the north, they came all the way to 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 close to Nsoka. It's north. Nsoka, Nsoka boundary with Benue is north. Have you heard of such rubbish before? Because all of you, you 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 kept quiet. Now the IPOB is doing something. Instead of all of you to rise up and say IPOB did nothing wrong to anybody, you all keep him quiet. And one day they will come for all of you. Remember how we started with IPOB? You all kept quiet, and today. There is insecurity everywhere. Fulanese are killing you everywhere because you are all cowards. And we're not going to have that rubbish again. This is from a, from a, from a representative of a Fulani, Arewa, telling you that there is a problem in the zoo. People are dying. Fulanese are killing people with terrorism, killing you with uniform. Are we going to run away from who are these people? Why are they like this? Only you can answer that, not us. We must proceed. Earlier this year, the government made a, the Zoom government made a statement that they will gradually remove Nigerian troops from troubled areas. That, that the withdrawal is to allow the military focus its primary duty, so the focus on its primary duty of defending the nation against external aggression. That is what they said. But they never could kill people. <laughs> Are they, are they not meant to be around the border towns, defending the zoo from from what they selling to the government? What they must do? If I was saying before, I was really interrupted. The body shenanigans of Facebook. Lai Mohammed thought it necessary to label an unarmed group a terrorist group, whereas those who are killing and destroying, they are Mother Teresa. Nothing is wrong with them. They must be there. And to continue killing, and that is why they're killing you this very day. And nobody 
Nobody has ever designated them a terrorist group. And they, they are those that will get tired. Because depend on salary. We don't depend on salary. We are an army of volunteers. We don't depend on salary. We've done nothing wrong to anybody. Nobody can say that we attacked anywhere. Nobody can say that we did anything wrong. Nobody can say we abducted anybody. Nobody can say that we, we ethnically cleansed any village or community. Those who are doing ethnic cleansing are not terrorists. Those who are wielding it, that is the, the... Can somebody please explain to me the part of the brain of a black person that ever came up with such? Which part of their brain came up with such? That people are praying, you go and you kill them. And say, I'm killing terrorists. Terrorists, did they bomb anywhere? Or was anybody abducted? Why would you go to kill IDB? What, what have they done to you? What we are doing today was exactly what Azikiwe and Wonogo did to get independence for the zoo. None of you are occupying. They better go out with machine guns to go to every village and be massacring people because some people are asking for their freedom. When you're nine months in the womb of your mother, don't you agitate to come out? That is when you go to the and they ask you, has the baby turned? Because once it's nine months, the baby will begin to agitate to come out. That's how nature is. Agitation is natural. When you're 16, 17, 18, you agitate to leave the hell you hope you must go. At the right age, you will agitate to go out and start your own family. That is how nature operates. That is how nature works. What is it about black people and agitation that makes them worry? After all, after all, the zoo that you're living in, that Nigeria, that nigger area that Britain created, that some of you are carrying the passport and say, I'm very proud Nigerian, that very place came about as a result of agitation. This is something I don't understand. The zoo came about as a result of agitation. And, and it is not even um, an, an, an organically created or formed nation it is artificial put together by force like Yugoslavia, like the Soviet Union all of these things they break they must break that is what nature has said it must break because it is artificial it is, not it is never ever natural it must break that is why they are intimidating everybody Fulani people are not terrorists People who are killing, they are not terrorists. Mihetiana is not a terrorist group. They are a, a legitimate stakeholder in the government. The government gave them 100 billion. These are people that drive their cattle to destroy crops in farms. The government gave them 100 billion. Now, I want somebody to tell me the crime that IDOP has committed. Nobody can say it. Nobody can tell us the crime that IPOB committed to warrant this ceaseless hunting down and being slaughtered for no reason. What did we do wrong? And those who are saying, uh, when, 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 uh, all the time they are talking on the radio, that time has come. And we will find you as well. It has come. History will remember the 23rd of August 2020 as the day they started in Enugu. That's day. This is everything new. Killing people for no reason. Shooting. Shooting and shooting. And everybody is there all quiet. Nobody will talk. You will not hear a cause will not say anything. Asia will not say anything. EU will not say anything. Britain will not. Nobody will talk. The day now, we start our own revenge. You will see them. And they are clashing. Everybody is bad. Everybody is a terrorist group. But now they are killing us. Now they are slaughtering us. Now they are doing all they can. Nobody will follow and say what this building is, is wrong. Of course, the memo will be issued by the DOS. No more meetings, no gathering in Enugu. Our banner is raised in Enugu. No meeting, no gathering in Enugu of IPOB of any sort. Let us deal with these people and tell them that um, we are as mad as if not worse. Our madness is worse than our own. So in the next slide, they will not kill unarmed civilians anymore because they are mad. When the enemy wants to take into your territory, they look for weak minded. Somebody do this, and I'm, I'm reading that it's not me, it's not from me. When an enemy wants to destroy you, 
The rock for your people who are weak minded, sell out, you fool, fool, traitors. They go to them. Very weak people. And they tell you we have come in peace. Trojan horse. Some of you may remember the, the story of the Trojan horse. Some of you that have read Homer's Iliad. Not everybody may have read it. It's very voluminous. <laughs> Some of you with interest in um, in um, social media and selfies, you may not understand this. But try and read um, Homer's Iliad. But try and read it, please. Read the Trojan War, you will understand. The game that these people are playing, all of you are there. Slowly, slowly, but surely. Because I don't know, how, I, I think it's in their cows, that meat that we eat. Somehow, they have hypnotized everybody. But in another state, it took you, my dear brother, in another state, the DPO is full of me, police commissioner is full of me, uh, second sergeant is full of me. In our land, as if we cannot produce DPO or commissioner, do you know why? To cage the governors, to cage everybody, to make us understand we are on that siege, we are a conquered people. And there's a story that I was reminded today, I was told by a very wise man, a very wise early man in their land. He told me a story today. Do you know what the man said to me today? He said, hey, they, they, we never lost the war. Now, Mexico, when we negotiated with Bowen, no victor, no vanquish. Biafra never, ever, ever, ever surrendered. Never. Because Timothy Omadogu was being made the head of state to lead the Biafra Organization of Freedom Fighters both. They were to go into the bushes and fight the enemy from there, the Janja with the Vandals from the north. And Zikiwa negotiated. So to Jubu said, Let us leave this. The, the Ephion, Ephion asked them, What did they negotiate? He said, No victor, no. When the soldiers wanted to rebel, Ephion said to them, We did not lose this war. It was a no victor no vanquish. Three hours. Do you remember that? But if you had the right, they would say, we defeat Biafra. Because all my people would have gone to the bushes and by now would have been nation. Had all my people both, the second time of Biafra, gone into the bushes by now would be the nation. They said, no, Victor, no vanquish, everything will be fine. We went back, look how we are. Now flies are building their settlement in a forest. Very soon they'll have an airman. They'll have, um, is it, uh, 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 or whatever rubbish they call it. And they were coming. They are building. Phone and will come and rape somebody near your village. Your village kill that people, kill them, rape them. Then they will send some more bunch of stinking, smelly idiots without the shit they tie on the head. Stinking, smelly, foul, smelling pigs to come and tell you about peace and peaceful existence. Meanwhile, in your forest. Are you in their forest? You are in southern Berlin, the north. You are there building hotels, building business. They are in your own forest to take over your land. We are fighting for properties in the north. They are taking over our own land in the east. What does that tell you about your brain? We think we are intelligent, but we are not. This is how for money, a, a band of, of reprobates, illiterate, stark illiterates, that have contributed nothing to the advancement of any society they are in. Nothing. They have contributed nothing. They are the ones who are coming and messing you up, playing with your brain, and some of you fall for this garbage every day. Oh, Flaming headsmen are not uh, terrorists. They are terrorists. But IPOB are terrorists. What has IPOB done? Nothing. What has Fulani terrorists done? They have killed, they played, they have raped, they have destroyed properties. And people are telling me that they are intellectuals, they are elite, they are learned. What? Utter garbage. Utter garbage. They give you 2023 presidency. We are going to work with you to produce a, 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 a presidency. Rubbish. They are confusing you again. Every time they confuse you, every time, and you allow yourselves to be used. And that is why in the mess we are in today, that somebody can come into our land and open fire. 
can you tell me now? Look at Ihe Jirika was fighting Boko Haram. They came out open and said, remove him, and he was removed. Can you imagine an Igbo police commissioner in love giving orders to go and shoot Onari Fulane kids? What do you think will happen? By now, almost every Igbo business in North will be destroyed. People will be behaving this night. But they can come and do whatever they like. And do whatever they like. And, and, and think they can get away with it. But they can't. They cannot get, not now, not tomorrow, not ever. They can never, ever get away with it. Never, ever, ever. Nonsense. Look at them, they recruit this book. You are there. All they do is they spend money. All fully does is to spend money. Once you are a frontline ambassador, you come to the zoo as you're changing the papers, they're giving you a check of a million dollars. That's it. So they can take, if, if they like now, let them mount their armor tanks and start shaming everywhere, killing everywhere, believing me, no single British people will report it. Not one. If you ask them, they'll say, oh, there are tearing pockets of resistance. There are people who are there. They will lie and no people will publish it. Because that's when you're going to join where? We are not. We can never ever allow them to overrun us. The same way have overrun everybody else. Never. It's gonna happen in our land. That's why they, that's what they're doing, what they're doing. They come, they intimidate, they come, they intimidate. Well, if the, the terrorists are busy building their their, their settlements and forests. If you talk to someone who will kill you, we are full we will kill you, nothing will happen. We can be supporting us, we will kill you. There's a, a, a banditry in Nigeria has international dimension. And I write it, all of you will swallow it hook line like, like the fools you are. You will swallow it hook line and sink. Oh, they have some international look. But before they come, we are there no killings? We are there no killings? I'm asking. Before they came, have you forgotten that the yet I said that the state belongs to them as a right? Because they conquered it. The DSS invites him. The DSS invites the head of Miet Yal when he said that they have now taken over the new state. That they've conquered the new state. The DSS invites him now. All of you can, you don't want to reason. And why you don't want to reason, I have no idea. I have no idea. This is peace, peace, peaceful movement, peaceful agitation, and they're killing us. Every, and the worst of they won't, they won't say, oh, we've killed them so much. Let's let them alone. No, they will keep killing. They will keep killing. Because what they are looking for is your land. You are inconsequential. They will want to deplete our numbers so they can say there will be no people to fight to defend our land. That's what they're trying to do. And some of you are busy threatening them. You are busy tolerating them. And we can't have it anymore. Not at all. If they come to us now, we'll go after them as well. Simple as that. A banditry has a national dimension. And you believe him. Or if you will believe him. Because people are daft and very foolish. People are daft and very, very foolish. Very sad indeed. Very, very sad indeed. But we must continue. We must continue. And let me tell you what happens to people who are quiet. You know, remember, <coughs> excuse me, remember, they did not start killing Southern Kaduna people today, did they? It's been a very long time. And I said to the people, that is the way the phone is operate. They keep, they, they keep suppressing you slowly, but consistently, they never fail. One Fulani, oh, this commissioner after another, they will keep sending them. They will keep suppressing you. Every point, they stop you. They intimidate you. They beat you up. Nobody will rise up to say what they do is wrong. They have bribed your entire political class. They have intimidated them. Some of them, they have their compromising pictures. They have done everything to them. Blackmail them. So they won't talk. They have been doing it in Southern Kaduna, doing it too. for years. They will kill, but they will talk. People go, hey, Christians are being killed in Southern Kaduna. Let us do a vigil at the open doors in America. Let's go to a parliamentary group, parliamentary committee, and talk to them in the UK and see what they can do. You have every parliamentary group, you have every meeting in war, you come back to killing you. And after years of killing and intimidation, you know what they have done. This will shock you. This is the reason why they are giving IPOB family members. Do you understand? 
what they are now doing is sad. Let me tell you one thing. In seven months, we have lost 104 communities, 400 lives in Southern Kaduna, according to the Southern Kaduna president. He is even accusing El Rufai, the chief terrorist, of backing ethnic cleansing agenda. This is the same man that wants to go to NBA to talk about a national debate. That is how they are. They are confusing you with their warm words, telling you rubbish. Oh, he's a turn. He's, he's come to the south. And all of you, foolishly, you focus on that and your land is going. Now, let me read this for you so you understand. Without IPOB, this is what our land would have become today. Because the foreigners understand that IDOP is a stumbling block. The only thing they need to do is to bribe European newspapers and then they will be killing us and they will say, right, Britain is a clash, it's a clash. And they will say it's a clash. You know what Britain will do? Britain will cut out that they say it's a clash and send to London. And say, oh, they, they are a clash. To give the impression that IPOB is somehow armed and ready to wage war, which is a lie. Now, let me tell you what will happen to you. Yeah. So, all of you should go down on your knees and be praying for IPOB without all you people are gone. You are gone. Do you know how many villages we have saved? When some of you wake up in the morning, you no longer see any full and settlement. Do you know those that, 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 that did it? Do you know those that did it? Well, you think it's exactly the prayers and wonders that did it? You think it's signs and wonders? You think so? All those villages that you wake up in the morning, you no longer see full of settlements. What do you think happened? Or what do you think? Do this. We told them you can't be in our forest. Go to the town and live in the town. Not in our forest. And we are driving them out. As a consequence of what they did in Enugu, everywhere they are, we are driving them out. They should go and live in the town. Not in our face. Now you know what we've been doing. We were good, they've been busy trying to confuse. Hey, if I appear, we cannot, we cannot get anything with them. Because they know they are, they are blood, they are full of blood in them, is telling them that this IPOB will not allow your father's people to succeed. All this is full of his father, the by the Janjaweed. I am telling you tonight that there are some villages where people woke up, no more family settlement. Now you know. Mad people everywhere. Nah. Benatan Asake is the new president of Southern Kaduna People's Union, and in an interview, he made it very, very clear that armed Fulani invaders have now killed more than 400 people between January and July in his area, and figures so far indicate that over 104 communities in Foloku governments, namely Kajuruchukun, Kaura, and Zango Kataf, have been displaced. They have taken over their villages. That's what they want to do to us. It is called slow burning pressure. They keep putting pressure. The first, their worst mistake, Igbo governors made. The worst of their lives was prescribed because once the food is pressure, and they never ask themselves, why is it that the food is never prescribed? Metiana, never prescribed all these terrorist groups in the north, but the evil governors, because they put the same stupid mentality, they promised them presidency. They went to the five of them and said, no, eight of them, seven of them, and promised them. All of them, they promised the presidency. So they are fighting with each other to see who will out the other, who will sell his people more to the north. Look at where we are today. Look at where we are today. It is because they know they, 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 they carried out this attack today in Enugu because they know we cannot allow all the settlements in our forest. They know IPB will never allow it. That's why they're killing. To see if that intimidation will work. If we keep killing them, they'll keep quiet like the houses did. We'll overrun them. They'll keep quiet like Santa Duna. We'll take over the land. They'll keep quiet like the people and we'll overrun them. But they are mistaken. They are mistaken. Our people want us to come and tell them every 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 every, every baboon wants you to tell them what you've done today. What has IPAB done today? So they can go to the social media and write. Most of the things we do, you cannot see it. You cannot see it.
But if you go to the villages concerned, if at all you are interested, you go and you will sit. You will see what we are doing. That Fulani cannot take a land, and they know it. Not once I lead this movement, they know that it is impossible. They know it's impossible. We will sacrifice the unsacrificable. They know it very well that they cannot take our land. That's why they are busy. And why they say who they harass, they shoot, they detain. How many foreigners are they detained? How many bandits do they go to the, the, those areas ravaged by bandits to grab their youths and put in prison? No. Ask yourself, why are they doing it in a land? Why? That tells you all you need to know. That these are the things that you must have in mind. They, are, they have not been over Southern Kaduna. And if we keep out, something will happen to us. But thankfully, we are not going to keep out. We are not going to keep quiet. In a democracy, they claim, you know, this is how badly they have hypnotized everybody. You come in a, in a land supposedly of 200 million people, you have people foolishly, and how they reason, how they behave, how they think, how they talk will leave you perplexed. It will leave you perplexed. Mad people everywhere. Now listen. DSS invites 10 APC leaders in a door for important meeting. DSS is inviting APC. These days, before they even make the election, they tell you. They tell who's going to win. No wonder they're all jumping and joining APC. This is supposed to be a democracy. This is the same electoral process that some people have staked their lives and their reputation upon. This is the same one who will come and vouch for the integrity of the electoral process. The same electoral process, DSS is inviting the ruling party, so to speak, asking them to come for a meeting. So they will read in broad daylight. And you will do nothing. You will do nothing. As usual, you will do nothing. You will do nothing. And they will come, they will kill IPOB family members, they will do that. It was a clash. They say my, my voice sounding echo. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I have no idea. Let us try this one and see if it is, if it is way better. I have changed setting on the microphone to see if it is better. I, I have a new microphone. Maybe uh, that could be the problem. We have a new microphone. That could be the problem. I have no idea. But uh, we have changed the setting. We have changed it. Now listen, the Department of State Security, which is uh, State Services for DSS, has invited candidates of APC for an important meeting. According to a letter from the Security Agency, the positions are to attend the meeting scheduled to hold on Sunday, which is today, at the DSS Command Headquarters in Benin. There, is, there are all these groups, DSS, National Security Agency, National Intelligence, all this rubbish, that yet the, the same people heading all these agencies and the same people they are the same people funding terrorists. But when they come to our land, the DSS DG of this state. But they are the same people funding terrorism in the north. People don't want to understand what is happening. That the families are playing with your brain. You think you're defending Nigeria. What you're defending is one Fulani hegemony. One Fulani hegemony. One funny hedge money. They're inviting the in, in broad daylight. They didn't have PDP, they only invited APC. So they can plan how to read in broad daylight. They read, after all, if they put a mask on the face of somebody and turn around and say that that person is, um, is, uh, is uh, what's he called? Is, uh, is dead behind That tells you all you need to know, isn't it? That tells you all you need to know about the foolishness and the stupidity of those in the Danubu Zoological Republic. That tells you all you need to know, isn't it? They're inviting them. And they will go there and they'll plan how to read, they will read and they will win. And now, I have given you an example of what happens when people keep quiet. Remember how they subdued the Christian Association of Nigeria? And look at how over the years they kept bombarding them. They kept using Yoruba journalists who are Muslims. To suppress people don't. Oh my goodness, these people they make me sick. You people don't reason very well. Over the years, they kept bombarding, bombarding Khan. They kept bombarding until they reduced Khan to none. Uh, that's how they work. That is 
their game plan. Which some of you don't know, but which I'm telling you tonight. If you want to know how the Fulani operate, look at Southern Duna. Look at what happened in Plateau in Joss. I want you to look at now what is happening to the Christian Association of Nigeria and to the churches in Zoom. I want all of you to pay very close attention. That is their method. They use intimidation. They have tried it on IPP. It didn't work. Now they are coming door to door shooting and killing people. So their parents will say, oh no, my child, don't, don't go out. Don't join IPP. So they can, they can now come later with the terrorists to take our land over. So that when our mothers are being raped in the farm, nobody will help them. When our daughters are being abducted, there will be no IPOB to serve them. Do you understand the game plan? That is how they work. Now, as a result of years of suppressing the Christian Association of Nigeria, they have now succeeded. They have gone for the kill. They said that Nigeria is a Muslim country, yes? They don't want any churches. But rather than come out and say, we don't want churches, you know what they have done? This is the brainchild of El Rufa. He's the one concocting all this rubbish. What they have done is to say, okay, since all of you are registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, you are a registered charity. But mind you, mind you, no Islamic Association is registered with the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission. No. What they are saying here, now listen carefully for those of you who don't know. Remember when I said, and, and the level of condemnation I was expecting to trail this very innocuous announcement had not happened from those I expected from. And that gave me cause for what I am concerned. Now listen, the Corporate Affairs Commission has said that those willing over the new company and allied matters act should better stop because there is no going back. You know what they have done? Do you know that you that go to to Methodist Church, you go to Roman Catholic Church, you that go to Deeper Life or to Winners, do you know that an Imam, an Imam can now sit and become a board member in your church? And they will now know how much your church is making. They now have a say in how your church should spend their money. Are you aware of that? You know, some of you don't know because you don't read. You don't follow politics. Everything in life is about politics if you don't know. I'm not asking you to go and join them, register and start voting on. But you must understand how they, why, why they tell you, oh, he, he, uh, the, 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 the evil plan, the deal that is holding the, the nation together. Uh, be our friends, they are good business people because they don't want to come into the high plateau of politics. That is decisions are made. Or person was able to stop uh, textile manufacturing in Aba with a stroke of the pen. They stopped the importation of stuff. Some of you don't know this. With a stroke of the pen. That is politics in action. To kill us and to finish us off. And that is why we said no. Oh, that we are studying, we have read, we have learned so much that the zoo can no longer deceive us because some of you, we are blind when they were attacking Khan. Now they have rendered Khan impotent. Khan is not useless and they have known for the kill. And what is that kill? The commission said it's only waiting for the legis legislature to gazette the bill before they implement it. Now, what does the bill say? All churches must henceforth subject their finances and expense and expenditure for proper auditing and copies sent to us at the CAC. Chikina is finished. I use the word the chicken because that is their language. That is what they use. It is finished. This is the final nail in the coffin. And now I want to tell all the mega pastors, all of you shouting hallelujah, every percent of oh, thing about four days in a week, making your money, your tax and everything. The chicken has now come home to roost. You can understand it. You can now understand it. This is how they operate. They first of all subdue you. Once they finish doing you, when they now hit you, you will not have the strength to rise up. How many pastors have complained about this? This is how they take it over. Now, what they're going to say when they go to OIC meeting, which is of the Zion of Islamic countries, where they go to, they'll say, no, don't worry, they have churches there, but they allow them. After this imam, that imam is on their board of trustees. Now, you understand? Listen. 
The new legal framework applies to all organizations once you register as a as an organization or NGO with CAC, they must audit you. Do you know why they're doing it? Do you know why they're doing all these things? People don't understand. They are doing it because they are afraid that funding to assist Fulani domination will come from abroad. So once you register with CAC, you can't even open a bank account until FCC controlled by Fulani. Everything's controlled by the Fulani until they give you the go ahead. So if they now suspect that your organization is receiving funding from abroad to resist Fulani domination, they will ask you to submit your papers. Once you submit, close you down. Simple game. And somebody said to them that Christians all over the world they are worried about the killing of Christians in the zoo the area. Because of that, they are going to give money to churches to build up, to shore up their defenses. Now they are telling churches, submit your account to us so we know where you get your money from. Do you see the game they are playing? Do you see the game they are playing? But sadly, some of us don't understand the game. They, full and, they understand it perfectly well. They you know that once Buhari died, nobody had the guts to stand up and say that Buhari died. Nobody you saw him with his mask, with a hole in his neck. Every idiot, every, all the fools saying, oh, oh, please, can you stop? Can you not see a hole? His neck. Can't you see it? The hole of the mask. Can't you see? Is that a human being? Once the family is discovered that Nigerians are so cowardly and so foolish, and they use that to, if you listen very carefully to El Rufai, presidency is going to the south. So that way, Tulu can, can hold very tightly, you know, onto the leash of all the journalists so they have to expose the truth. The same thing with the Fulefus campaign to the president. Do you understand it? That is their game plan. Meanwhile, you must give your account because they don't want to fight back. And today, nobody is fighting back. All of you have exhausted. It is only IPOB who is standing. Only IPOB standing. And they, they think they can get to us. No, they are mistaken. They are mistaken. They are mistaken. What is going to happen? Do you know what is happening? Do you know how toothless and useless that the, the Christian Association of the, of the Zoo is can? Do you know how hopeless they are? Sometimes I believe that the Khan chairman was appointed by the Angelweed. They put there to destroy Christianity in the zoo. That means that they have put them, they put that fool there to, you know what I'm saying? They, they are thinking, funny is the Muslims are making laws that are anti Christian. And the only thing you can do is to say, we are considering legal action. That legal action is it the same court of law that uh, all the Muslims, the Yunga Sharia law, to determine cases uh, of, of a common law name? Is that where you're going to go to? You're going to go to Abuja? Where the, the, the head of the court, high court, is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a Muslim from the north. Head of the court, Muslim from the north. Head of Supreme Court, Muslim from the north. How do you think you're going? In fact, by the time you file your, your whatever brief you need to file, they will keep adjoining the case until they implement everything and they take everybody over. Britain has their share. They have told Britain has, has left the EU. So Britain needs a lot of cash. And that cash can come from the zoo, from the sale of oil and gas. And they promise them anything you want to give to you. Just on a blind eye, give us this place. Let us, you know you know your servants. Give us this place. Let's control it. And then you get anything you want. And that is what's happening today. Even the Christian Association of Night, they only make noise. When you criticize them, they start shouting and start talking rubbish. Now, look at the way Jang Jawi, the cattle wearers, have subdued Christianity in the zoo. That Christians are worthless. They are not. They, are, they want to go to court. To challenge a law, to challenge a law that the Muslims made. This is Nigeria. All of you saying one Nigeria. This is the concept of one Nigeria. But you will never know. You will never find out because you're not intelligent enough. You're not discerning enough to understand the Fulanese and how they play their game of conquest. Go and read their history. Some of you, you have no history. You don't have any knowledge of history. Go and read how Fulanese have managed with only cattle. Nama. To conquer all those that did conquer in the northern part of the zoo. Because people are foolish. And that foolishness is now transmitted to our people. But thankfully, or should I say thank Elohim that IPD is here.
That's why they have not taken us over. And they will never succeed. Uh, they understand. They will never. Every church, once you're registered with CAC, you are finished. And the funniest thing is that if you do not register, you close down anyway. That is the price you pay for Nigeria. But your tiny peanut brain cannot understand that. You cannot begin to ask yourself if the family said they did not want Nigeria to become independent, that the British should continue. How could today they are not interested? They now want Nigeria to be one, one, no one. Ask yourself why. Fulani will never support any patriotic act that will favor them. That is something you people don't understand. Everything they're doing, everything they're doing is designed to make your lives miserable. These are the things you ought to know. These are the things you ought to understand. And these are the things we're teaching you this very evening. So that the world may know, that mankind may know that we have IPOB and that we're not going anywhere. We are going to match them every step of the way. I want to tell the full army janjari, I, I pray and I tell you that God Almighty in heaven, Chukugirabiyama, is with IPUB. We are, um, I am now about to prove it to you that Elohim is with us. You are going to what is going to happen to you. All of you in our land, looking for who kill, you are about to witness the might and the glory of God upon the lives of those that believe in him. Now you are about to see. We don't think that all those people that you can deceive. Now listen, there is a plus to control all the monies going into the top churches. The top churches are the target. Because this very law, by this funny government, they have been exploring ways to bring pastors under their control. Now they have found the means and they have done it. They have done it. They have succeeded in making all of you appear foolish. But thankfully, you have IPOB. You have IPOB and none of this nonsense is going to happen. It can never ever work. Never ever work once you support IPOB. But if you pretend and say, oh no, give them, let's, let us try and pull, of course, it will not succeed anyway. Let them pull down IPOB. You are never ever ever going to succeed. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. These are the things you must understand. Somebody who claims is a special assistant to the to the to the president of the zoo, the dead Buhari in whose name they are ruling, says that he supports the death penalty for blasphemy against Islam. And you are in a secular country. You are in a secular state. Sometimes God people understand the what Fulani means to thrive is timidity and fear. That is why the great terrorists. They need to terrorize you into submission. But it can't happen with us. They know it can never happen with us. We are going to show them an example with Enugu State. Enugu, they will learn from Enugu. Not to mess with IPOB again. They will learn. In very hard way, of course. They will learn. They will learn. They are the ones who are stealing. That is what the funniest part is. You bring us your audit, but they are the ones who are stealing. Aisha went to go and do shopping in Dubai for, for wedding, claiming she's not well. And you gobbled it up. Nobody asked her what is your illness. She went to do shopping for somebody's wedding in Dubai. Look at how they are messing up with your brain. Look at how you have turned 200, as you say, 130 million people into zombies. Into zombies who cannot reason very well. And once they get you there, anything they like they can do. Believe me, they can decide to put a goat up as your, as your present. And then you say, uh, of course, we welcome it. That tells you all you need to know about your stupidity and your hopelessness. But thankfully, thankfully I say we are here. And we, we won't even allow you to become as hopeless as you would like to be. Never. Senate uncovers multi-billion naira fraud in NTA. Who is in charge of NTA? Minister of Information. Who is that person? Lion Hamed. These are the people saying, oh, Jonathan Jim was corrupt. Look, multi-billion, it is here. It's, it's headline news. Senator, multi-billion fraud. 
We have people, are you not tired of all this fraud everywhere? Are you not tired of the level of criminality going on in the zoo? Are you people not tired of the killings? Are you not tired of the oh, indigenous populations being displaced by people from the Sahel? You people are not tired. And that's why you're so, and because they have noticed that you're so foolish and so cowardly, that is why they can now go to your churches. That those places you think nobody can touch, they have not touched it. They have not gone to your churches. Now you know why killing people. Now you know why they're killing IPOB. Now you understand. To see if they can intimidate us into being afraid so we won't do anything. Do you also understand it now? Do you see how they behave? Do you see how they reason? Do you see their mindset, how they operate? What? They have their settlements, illegal settlements in the forest. And they're thinking, if we keep pressing IPOB, keep pressing, they are the only ones who can save them. If we keep demonizing them, oh, maybe, and growing a full of as we go along. And those a full of God is our witness, we can never forgive them. Now that a banner has been raised in Enugu, anyone that comes into Enugu has to go down. Any Efulefu, it doesn't matter. Take the Efulefu down. It's an order, direct order. We will hunt them down, all of them after the other. They are the ones that want our future to be the future of the Hausa Alamaji. They are the ones that want our future to be like that of the, of the Southern Qatar in Southern Kaduna. They want our life to be as miserable as those who are in plateau, those whose lands have been taken over. These are the fools every blessed day. You hear them whining and talking, you don't understand. It is the full and broad men on the power of the the world. These are the people that, that their mothers had to go and meet these people to be able to get from to eat. They gave birth to these idiots. Give birth to them. They want us to come down so that their fathers can come to our villages and take over our land. Show them the pictures of all the places that have been taken over. Of course, some of them no longer exist anyway. And they won't exist. That thing they want to give to them. The land is our own. It is ours. As I said, the mistake that uh, we made was not to continue to fight the war after 1970. We should have continued. Maybe six more months and we would have been a free people today. They are stealing. They are the ones stealing. They are the certain corruption, but they are the ones who are stealing. People are blind. They see it. Nobody will rise up and ask, all these multi-billion Naira from NTA, like Mohammed, you are NTA chief. What happened to this money? What happened to it? They can never tell you. They are eating the money. And telling you that we need to monitor your churches. We must monitor them. That's how they deceive all of you. That is how they deceive all of you. They are going to have elections. As, as she Rizani quite rightly said, that even the coup in Mali is more peaceful than elections in the zoo. Every time you go through the same rubbish, the same violence, the same rigging, the same garbage, the same fall and putting whoever they want in power. Every time they do it, every time all of you claim your legal luminous, your learned, your elite, your the leaders, you see all this nonsense, you keep quiet because all of you are compromised. But IPOP is uncompromisable. That is why we speak the truth the way it is. That is why we are who we are. Okay, you can't buy us. What do you have to buy us? So go not we are not afraid. Come to us. We have come to the work that Elohim in heaven asks us to do. And nobody, absolutely nobody, is going to stop us. It doesn't matter who you are, you can't stop us. We are now at the top of the hour. And before we bring this very program to a close. I have an announcement to make. From now, with immediate effects, and I want you always to issue a memo to that effect as well. Tari Nemi is now the new entire Nigerian coordinator. The whole zoo, Tari Nemi, is the zoo coordinator from tonight. Everything about the zoo now goes through him. Tari Nemi is the zoo coordinator from tonight. Everything passes through him. I have been getting some reports about some people who are now saying they are no longer, that they are Nyoma, and Nyoma is no longer evil. All the work we have done over the years, that Nyoma is no longer evil. Just pray we don't get you. Pray very seriously. It seems to me that some people, they wake up one day and madness goes inside them and they start to talk and behave like idiots. Yodobigodo is, is, is Biafra land. And Nyoma is evil. You cannot change it. Even the name and Yoma itself is Igbo. 
we have discussed this with Venice over and over again. There are some idiots, as I keep saying all the time, as the full agenda we are sweeping through with the Sand Army of Mara Mohammed, they were impregnated idiots along the way and giving birth to rubbish. If you don't know who you are, please go to Katsina and stay there. If you don't know who you go to Katsina and stay there. I understand there is a group, two groups called Aniomis and Aniomadat, where idiots are messing up and doing all manner of rubbish. Then we don't catch you, my people. That is name for tonight, right now, with immediate effect. And that's you, God in I expect everybody to be loyal to you. If you're not, you'll be removed. That's who we are. We have gone into a very delicate phase of our, this very struggle. I have no time for dissent, no time for rubbish. No, we are not in the democracy. Command and control. If you cannot do your job, you get out. Command and control. That's what it is. We have succeeded so far, and we are going to succeed until we get the finish point, which is our freedom. On that note, we we'll bring our positions in. And in fact, please, I do, I, lest I forget, our Abia State Coordinator, our Abia State Coordinator, please, very, very important. Very, very important. People, seven IPOB family members abducted at Omwagara. The Nigerian police in Abakli Kebu abducted seven people. I hope Britain is listening. Abducted some people. Seven people abducted. We also know what to do there. We'll also take them as well. So when they release our people, we'll also release their own. It's as simple as that. They are trying to ferment trouble and they will get it. This trouble they are looking for, they want to get it. Seven people abducted for no reason. That is where they operate. Abia State Coordinator is no longer interim. Substantive Coordinator. Abia State Coordinator. Substantive from tonight. Substantive. Anything he says goes in Abia State. It's as simple as that. On that note, we bring our tonight's program to an end. Our enemies are intensifying. So must we all now. All of us must now intensify. We have gone into that very phase that I said we're going to go into within two weeks. I told it will happen. It has happened. We are now entering that phase. No IPOB guarding in any good state for the time being until we finish the work we're doing there. Very, very important piece. And every full and instrument in the forest can no longer exist. As simple as that. Is that not? I thank you all very much for listening this very evening. And as always, do not forget that to most of you, this Biafra we seek may come to some of you as a nation, some as a country, some as agitation, or however you wish to interpret it. Some may even say Biafra of the mind. We've gone past that useless phase now. We are in the Biafra of the physical to make it manifest in our time by the grace of Almighty in heaven. That is why to us, Biafra is much more than all of these things. To us, it is a religion. And here on Radio Biafra is where we worship because Elohim Chukwopikadama is our God. From me, on a very, very sad day, not minding, I will say good evening. See that what will be, will be This is the time For you and I to stand together as one yeah. There will know, there will know The sun is rising From east to west, from north to south Can't you see the sun is rising Oh you wave your flag and be proud of who you are Because the sun is rising Shining so bright all over the world We are the sun, we are rising We spent our lives simply in a misery Never gonna trade our freedom with any mystery 
It's affecting our soul and it's killing us no slow With what we've been through, we are far from being good But we are blessed by Chuko Dika Biauma So we're never gonna give up We're never gonna give up Y'all be light in the rain of a tunnel It will shine so bright all the time The whole wild world will embrace us We're Nobody can stop us, nobody can cage us, nobody can stand us, yeah. There will know, there will know. The sun is rising. From east to west, from north to south. Can't you see the sun is rising? Oh, you wave your flag and be proud of who you are. Because the sun is rising. We're shining so bright. All over the world, we are the sun, we are rising. Through windows and curtains, green lights be revealing. When I think about how blessed we are, goosebumps all over my body. Sunrise to the clock strike. Black strands crossing gray stripes. Clashes upon clashes, many lives come to ashes. When I ponder and reminisce, the actions I see malice. Blood on the ground, this is how we fly. Our beautiful flag all around the world. Blood on the ground, this is how we fly. Our beautiful flag all around the world. We go carry the cross together. We walk through to Zion. The stumble will rise. How do victory will 